Hi, my name is Dr. Lindsay Renzullo, and today I'm going to show you how to clean your dog's ears. First off, it should be stated that a lot of dogs and cats actually don't need regular and routine cleaning of their ear canals. So before you start any treatment regimen or cleaning regimen, please discuss it with a regular veterinarian to discuss if that's appropriate or not for your particular pet. Okay, so let's get started. Whenever I like to clean a dog's ears, I make, like to make sure I have all of my supplies set and ready to go. This includes an appropriate ear cleaner that's veterinary approved, something that your veterinarian has recommended, or something that you buy at a pet store that's formulated for a dog's ear canal. The second would be cotton balls. So just your standard you know, um, cotton balls you can get at CVS um, or any pharmacy. And then it would be Q-tips. Okay. Finally, if you can, having a helper or an assistant would be great. You'll find a lot of the times that some dogs are very compliant and, let, and will let you clean their ears without any assistance, but to start you should always have a helper just because the few, first few times it will make it easier. Okay, so to understand how we clean a dog's ears appropriately, it's good to understand the anatomy of the dog's ears. So dogs have really two main components to their ear canals. They have a vertical and a horizontal component. So it's really important to understand a lot of the debris and wax will settle down into the horizontal component, making any kind of active infection really difficult to get rid of if you don't remove all that material. All right, are you ready, Miss Ella? This is Ella. She's our wonderful, our wonderful dog that said that she would help us out today. And this is Rosie, our wonderful technician, able to help hold. Um, so what we do is we take one hand and use, the, use your hand to sort of hold that ear. You take the other hand to apply the ear cleaner down the ear canal. You squirt like a nice amount in there, a liberal amount, to make sure you're getting enough that can work its way down into the horizontal component. Then you use your other hand to massage at the base of the ear. And what this does is it takes that, that cleaner and it makes it work its way down that vertical component into the horizontal canal. After you've massaged for about 10 to 15 seconds, you can use a cotton ball to sort of take up and remove any debris that's obvious on the external surface of the ear. Once you removed all of that wax and debris, you can use a Q-tip, but only if you're using it to sort of get around the small grooves and crevices on the external aspect of that ear. You don't want to use a Q-tip to push down that ear canal, as you can just move further debris and infection deeper into the, into the horizontal component. So just on the external part there, just where you see the little grooves, you can use this fine Q-tip. After you finish cleaning with one ear, I use my hand to still hold that ear and I move on to the second ear at the same time. The reason being is this prevents her from shaking her head before I'm fully done. I then do the same process on the other side of the ear. And when I'm finally done, you then let the dog do the last step, which is let go of the ears and let them shake it all out. That's actually a really important part. It helps remove a lot of liquid, a lot of debris from that external canal. Good girl, Ella. That was it. You did a good job. So. That's our ear cleaning video for the day. I hope you have uh, a good time doing it and good luck.